What is up guys, this is Kiro back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to flash the latest Pixel Experience ROM and I'm gonna be trying the Pixel Experience Plus ROM to flash and this is the 7th April 2020 build and here if you notice the change log you are gonna see some things like switch to OSS vendor and stuff and with this vendor and stuff let me tell you like how to flash this rom not a full review of this pixel experience rom because this is just gonna be a flashing kind of guide but if you notice the other change logs here it says face unlock and the april security patch lot of good things you are gonna notice over here well what this oss vendor means is that it switched to a newer vendor and for the vendor you do not need, like need the miui vendor well, I'm right now on the Evolution X ROM. If you're noticing, let me go into the settings and show you quickly which ROM is this. As you can see, this is the Evolution X ROM. And this is the 30th March 2020 build. Still has the March security patch and stuff. And I do have the latest Orange Fox recovery installed. And I'm on the MIUI 11.0.4 firmware. If you are on that firmware, you do not need to like flash any firmware, but the MIUI firmware is not supported on the Pixel Experience ROMs. So what you need to do is you just have to format the storage after you flash that ROM. So now let me just boot into the recovery. I have already downloaded the zip file of the latest Pixel Experience Plus. So let me just boot into the recovery. And before doing anything, make sure you have a backup because you may have to format. And by the way, my storage is decrypted. So I'll just try without formatting, like I'll just flash the ROM with the FCrypt disabler and see what happens. So here I have already booted into the Orange Fox recovery now. And in the ADM folder, as you can see, I have downloaded this Pixel Experience Plus, the top like file over here. And now let me just quickly wipe. Let's swipe Dalvi, cache, system and data. You can also select vendor, but I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna replace the vendor anyway. You do not need to like wipe it. Now I have wiped the cache and Dalvik system and data. Now let's just select the ROM file and add to queue. Let's select the fcrypt disabler file because my storage is decrypted. So I'll just try to flash this with the fcrypt disabler and I'll just reboot to see if it actually reboots. So I have selected that reboot after flashing. And of course you do not need any gapps file because the pixel experience ROM already comes with pre-installed gapps or preloaded gapps. Now it's flashing the fcrypt disabler and rebooting and the moment of truth shows the redmi logo all right so it shows the boot animation of pixel experience all right so we are booted into the system i did not need to format the storage because i was decrypted so let's just set up the rom so it's time to set up the fingerprint scanner. Let's try. Seems pretty quick while like doing the setup. Okay, so we are in the UI and here it's showing this gray kind of icons because I'm restoring my Google app data backup. Right now, let's just go into the settings and let's disable the dark theme quickly. We have the heads up disabling option still, so that's like pretty cool. Now let me reduce the brightness just a bit. In the about section, if you go to the Android version, here as you can see it shows the Android version is 10 of course. And the security patch is of latest April 5th, 2020. And this like stock kernel here is the Fixy kernel. And here is the build number, it says the Pixel Experience Plus for Rafael and 7th April 2020 official build. Now let me quickly go back to the system and we also have the system updater of course, you can check for updates from here. And what I'll do is I'll go to the button section and here we have the system navigation gestures and as you can see we have the hide the pill option for this like pill if you want to hide and then we have the two or three button navigation and in the power menu we have the screenshot and stuff but the advanced reboot is in the developer option still I guess now let's just like enable this long press for torch and let me go back to the status bar and here we have the network traffic indicator System icons, we of course have the headset, Bluetooth, etc. icons over here. Now let me go back, we have the AM, PM style, let's choose the small one. And then battery status style is there. You can also have the like next to the icon battery percentage. And here we have the brightness control. So you can just control the brightness by just doing this on the status bar. So this is like pretty cool. Now let's scroll down. We have the quick pull down, you can choose it from right, left, however you want. Then the rows or column numbers of the quick settings panel, I guess. 
and then there is the style option we have the flip or rotate for the quick setting toggles and the duration of the animation and then the interpolator let me go back we have the like normal gestures option and here we have the swipe to the screenshot let's take a screenshot and as you can see this is a really cool like oxygen OS kind of screenshot i guess let's do it again as you can see this is the latest oxygen OS based on android 10 kind of screenshot feature let me go back we also have the scroll right long screenshot yeah so we have the scrolling now let me go to the system navigation of course i showed it already and let's just enable the like developer options and here i have enabled the advanced reboot and the stock camera let's check okay so it looks like we have the anx camera by default yes as you can see it has the vlog mode and stuff so we do have the anx camera by default let's switch to the other cameras and see if they work so yeah all the three lenses are working fine here not a problem i see the like switching between lenses are pretty fast let's open the front camera and yep it's working fine i guess now let's go to the security and see how is the face unlock now here in the security as you can see we have the face unlock option so you have to allow these permissions and about face unlock and stuff okay so it says already added bypass lock screen by pressing power key all right let's click on done now let's try the face unlock is it working oh i have to slide the like thing over here let me show you again like on this lock screen just slide the lock screen and as you can see it unlocks this is really good that we have the face unlock by default now let's try with the fingerprint unlocked at like one single try well where is the double tap to sleep wasn't it there let's go to the display settings there was a bit of lag over there but i'm okay with it because it's setting up stuff so yeah the lag is supposed to happen just a little bit and let's scroll down we have the double tap to wake all right tap to sleep is here let's disable the wake up on plug let's see what else is there in the lock screen display we have the always on display new notification and stuff and then styles and wallpapers all right so you can set the themes and stuff of course and then the in terms of the wallpapers we have the living universe so the live wallpapers you can expect on this rom pretty fine now let me go back in the sounds and let's like put the advanced expanded and here in the like me sound enhancer we have the me audio direct you can choose between these many headphones of course and the hi-fi audio direct is still there so this is really cool i'm already like enjoying the rom i guess now let's try with the left thumb from the always on display and it unlocked right unlocked like really fast i would say the experience over here is really fast i have no problems at all like unlocking the device i am pretty much enjoying the rom already let's try it again all right so the rom already feels pretty smooth and we have the like default camera as the anx or miui camera over here so that is really cool you can install the gcam and stuff separately if you would like to the left we have the google now cards and swiping down gets you to the like quick settings panel swiping up gets you to the app drawer and stuff now let's try to reboot to recovery and see if the recovery and stuff is totally fine here all right so as you can see the recovery and stuff is showing totally fine and the storage and stuff is totally fine and it still shows all the files so yeah my storage is still decrypted and i can still flash any other rom if i want to so that is really good but i think if i want to switch to like the evolution x and stuff in future i have to flash the miui firmware again then flash the other roms if they are like supported by the miui firmware so that pretty much wraps up the video about flashing this rom if you are like decrypted on your redmi k20 pro and you have already flashed all the roms with fcrypt disabler you are pretty much good to go just wipe cache dalvik system data and flash the rom with fcrypt disabler and reboot you do not need to format the storage but if your storage is encrypted then i guess you have to format the data i think so so yeah that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel download if you have not yet this is tito from carry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now